Hi, I'm Laura and welcome to the Tarot Genie, where you receive intuitive answers from the tarot to your burning questions about current events, lifestyle, and more. Today we're going to ask the question for this week, the week's outlook, how can you create more harmony in your life, in your business, finances, or your career, in your relationships, and finally in your overall well-being, in your mental and physical well-being. Those will be the three aspects that we look at. And the inspiration for today's reading, or this week's reading rather, is Leona Boyd. Now, unless you are a classical guitar or and also guitar music in general, aficionado the way I am, you probably, you may not have heard of Leona, Le, Leona Boyd, <laughs> tripping over her words, her name. Leona Boyd is a, she was one of the first, and she's, I just looked it up, she's 71 years old, but she's one of the first really renowned female classical guitarists. Of course, there are many male classical guitarists over the years. There was first Andres Segovia, who I heard all about when I was growing up because I studied, played, and my guitar's over there in the corner, has not been touched in a few months. I've got to tune it. But I took classical guitar for about eight or nine or 10 years, from the age eight, no, at age nine to age 18, nine years. And so I, I often looked up to these various classical guitarists, and one of them I found out about later was Leona Boyd, and she was one of the first famous and renowned female classical guitarists. Now, nowadays, there are many, you can find many, many women classical guitarists, and it's wonderful, it's fantastic. But I think she was the kind of the maverick, the person, the trailblazer for female classical guitarists uh, playing. So I think she is an icon in her field. And she had a book, she has a book, actually it's packed up too, in storage, but it's called In My Own Key, My Life, what was it called? My Life in Love and Music. And I read it years ago, it was excellent. And she talked about the sexism and things and the challenges you had to face as a female classical guitarist. She also dated many famous people, like I think, oh, Prime Minister, the late Prime Minister Pierre Pr Trudeau, who's the father of Justin Trudeau. She dated him for a long time. And I'm trying to remember, there's some other people. Oh, I think she went out or she was maybe with Julian Bream, who's another classical guitarist. But she shared in her book the challenges and the pitfalls and all that she had to go through to persist and to succeed in her career. In her career. And she still playing to my knowledge, although I think she had some physical challenges in recent years. But I will link to a piece of one of my favorite pieces of hers, classical guitar. And I just felt that she would be a good inspiration for this week's reading because her life was all about creating beautiful harmony as a guitarist. So let's ask the tarot quickly, keep this succinct. How can you create more harmony in your business, finances, career? in your relationships, and finally, in your mental and spiritual well-being. And I'm going to set down the three cards, and I will show them to you. All right, for this week, based on the inspiration of Leona Boyd. First card, business, career, finances, the Page of Swords. Well, the Page of Swords is a very vibrant, he's got, well, of course, a youthful figure, so we've got that sense of youthful energy, strength, and power. And you see here, and also the pages are related to messages, and they bring messages. The swords, the air, the element of air, also relates to communication and clarity of mind, mental clarity. And so what I feel that this is popping up and saying right away is that to create more harmony this week in your business, in your workplace, or in your finances, is get a very clear, crystal clear idea of what you want to achieve this week and just go for it with all the energy and youthful, you know, vibrant, no matter what your age is, that you can muster and you kind of elevate yourself, get, you know, stand tall and just grab it with all the gusto, have a particular goal, this, the, uh, the swords because also relate to a particular goal that you have great mental clarity about. And also just notice that the, the page of swords has red boots, a red tunic, 
that suggests the idea of passion, that fire energy. So it's all on fire, you know, get on fire with your objective, you know, define a clear goal for this week to create more harmony with the idea though, of course, underlying it of harmony. And this would also suggest to me to be very clear in your communications with, ever, with whomever you are interacting. And we see the little birds there. That's the idea of messages and information coming to you. And just you want to be very clear, cut to the chase, and direct. But at the same time, diplomatic, you do have to pay attention to that. Sometimes the pages could perhaps veer on being a little bit too zealous. You want to keep that in check a little bit. But the overall idea here and piece of advice is that to create more harmony in your business relationships, I'm, I'm sorry, in your business, jumping the gun here, in your business or workplace or finances is to have a clear, crystal clear objective, hold that powerfully to you and just move forth with vibrant energy. The next card relates to relationships, how to create more harmony in your relationship. Oh, that's interesting. The two of coins or two of pentacles. And once again, we have an individual, well, twos relate to, well, that is relates to harmony because it's talking about, you know, getting along with others. It's not, even though we have a solitary figure here, the number two conveys the idea of twos, of partnerships. And what we see here with his red tights and red hat, again, and also the red shirt, is that idea of passion, that vibrancy, that fire energy, is what's coming to my mind as I look at this, what I intuit, is that in, to create more harmony in your relationships this week, you'll need to, <coughs> oh, sorry for my dog, there are people outside, you'll need to, you know, maybe you have to do some balancing act, balancing act of some responsibilities. Perhaps you may need to take on some things that you might normally not do, to harmonize those relationships, but be aware that you will be able to juggle them. You will be able to keep them balanced. You won't lose, you know, you won't get out of whack, but make the purpose or make your objective with uh, the idea of balancing the relationships, you know, keeping that harmony, keeping that flow going back and forth, kind of going with the flow in your relationships. That's what comes to mind as I see this image. And also one thing to point out too, in the back, if you notice, they've got the rocky seas, that those waves bouncing back and forth, the ships. It suggests that, you know, so there could be some challenging times, but you need to go with the flow. Don't get out of, uh, don't overreact to anything. Take it in stride and just focus on that flow, that balancing act. And then finally, your mental and physical well-being. The fups, here we go here, sorry about that. The Five of Swords reverse. Now when upright, the Five of Swords represents a situation in which someone has won a battle, kind of gloating over it, the other two people are retreating, and it's always this vibe of kind of this battle with a cost. Not It's not a, a good situation, it's not, because you've got the people retreating and there's just that a whole sense of disappointment and disharmony. But since this is reversed, it's suggesting to me that the idea is to create more harmony in your physical and mental well-being is that you need to release any perhaps memories of past conflicts, you need to let them go, that that is something that could be holding you back in your physical and mental well-being. Definitely, you know, when you are focusing and anguishing and ruminating, mulling over in a negative way about past battles, past conflicts, that will take a toll on your physical well-being. So this week, focus on releasing the past, releasing past squabbles, past disputes, because by doing so, then you will be able to create more harmony in your physical and ment mental well-being. And it is interesting that these cards are together. I mean, this one came first. That, but this is pointing to that. So that's suggesting to me that yes, you know, you just need to let go and kind of allow things to come back into balance. 
And again, I will put the music, the piece, a beautiful piece, a harmonious piece by Leona Boyd in the show notes and also the information about her book or books. Actually, she has another book that came out recently. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you've not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, remember, illumine your mind, inspire your life with tarot.